bitchy. Have you heard about the party tonight? I saw it on his Instagram. How about I take you to your favorite restaurant? It's not a regular night. We hit this off right. We'll be next in line to be a member of the family business. Get that, babe. It must be Ye. Ye didn't come back to the dorm last night. Something isn't right. Give me Ye's last location before a phone died. As you wish, Mr. Snow. I need all the details of last night. Turns out a lot of people have come up missing and their last location has been at that club. The clients are in place for tonight's viewing. We got a problem. What the fuck is she? Boom! I'll die for mine if that's what it takes. What the fuck I just say, man? I'm not talking to the ops. This little girl. My little girl. Promo. J O N. I think it's about time I ring this bell and let everybody in their mama know there's big money in the building. Mama, we made it. Come on, man. <laughs> we walking all through the black market. I know y'all see what we got going on. We got a food court. Man. We got libraries. We got. All type of industrial we like products. Niggas. We was making reels off to your shit. <laughs> oh, man, come on, man. Y'all enjoying the studio? Yeah. yeah. Come on, man. So it wouldn't be a real black market if we didn't have a movie theater where we could go watch movies with a whole lot of black people in them. So today, we got the cast from Meet the Snow. Thank you for having me. Man, we deep in here today, so I gotta take this time to let everybody get a chance to introduce themselves to the world and all the people watching today on the black market. Tell me your name and the character that you play in the movie. Well, I'm Kedra Ponder. I'm the producer and the co-writer, and I play one of the bad guys. Just one of the bad guys? <laughs> Just one of them. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm Measy Numbers with Ron Taylor, a.k.a. Measy Numbers. I'm one of the co-writers, uh, one of the stars, and uh, I play Ryan Snow, the, the father in the movie. Okay. Hi, I'm Priska Outland. I am one of the stars as well in the movie. I play Danity Snow. What up, everybody? I'm Frederick Harper. I play a bad guy. Play Ty. Ty. Bartender. Guy. Slipping <laughs> Mickey's. Uh, wow. Also, <laughs> yeah, it's spoiled. It's spoiled. Damn. Damn. Nah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was a yeah. villain in another movie <laughs> already. Villain. But, uh... <laughs> I don't know if we should have him in here laughing with us. <laughs> watch the movie like, this man need to whoop his ass. Oh, he, he get it. <laughs> uh, but I'm also an associate producer on the project as well. That's yeah. what's up, man. Well, tell me how the project came together, man, and how y'all put all this, all this good energy into it like this. Uh-oh. Well, until he get right, I'll let you know. Me and Ron, we've done previous projects together, and he had an idea that he couldn't get out his head. Mm -hmm. So I told him I'd help you, and I co-wrote it with him. So it started, like I said, with his idea from the dangers of sex trafficking. We yeah. both have teenage daughters that were entering college, and it's saying that's plaguing the Atlanta area, and we just wanted to bring some awareness to it. Mm -hmm. 
You want me to hold it down? Hold it down. <laughs> well, how I came about it, Ron found me on Facebook. He was in my inbox asking me if I wanted to be a part of the project. I was like, send me the script first, but do you have a budget? And, <laughs> you know, that's, that's the most important question. The most important question. thing you want to know if you have a budget, and if you don't have a budget, what kind of quality is it going to be? Because you don't want to waste your time. So he hit me up. I read the script that he sent over to me. The script was fire. I was like, oh, let's do this. It's all about action. I love action. So that's how it came about. And you, Mr. Drink Spiker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ron and I go way back. We we go back to Tangle and Twisted on the set. We worked on a project together, man. And he always expressed that he wanted to do an action film. And uh, I was one of the first people that he called up, sent me over the script, reviewed it, talked some business, and here we are a few years later. Yeah. Ron, what's been the approach, man, for you taking this project on? Everybody who was here today said that Ron had the group. Yeah, yeah, you know what? It was Ron's crazy ass idea. <laughs> Being an 85 of myself, yeah. watching you guys um, That's dope. Uh, spearhead y'all life. I seen y'all go from, uh, you know, wilding out to doing an 85 South show, and I'm just inspired. I'm like, you know what? I've been acting for a while. Yeah. I got to take my life in my own hands. Tyler Perry ain't coming. Ain't nobody coming. These black men are striving and achieving. Got with her, said, let's write a movie. Yeah. And we wrote it. We wrote it with an intention to impact the world. And look at us. We on the 85 South Show. <laughs> no, I love that, though, man. I tell you, you watch the show, so you know I tell people all the time, it's like, don't wait on nobody to make you a star, man. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and of course, like, look at the success that you have, and you never would have thought to go from, like you said, an idea yeah. to a script. Yeah. To uh, man, we producing this. Yeah. Then you at the rap party. Now you like, oh my god, like yeah. just putting, like I said, putting that good energy into it and having the right people around Being you that can, yeah. people that can help you bring that vision to life. That's the dopest part about it. So it's like now you got the momentum and you see that it's possible. Where you want to take it to now? What you want to do next? Uh, we feel like we we got we got the next like Tyler Perry. We got like Spike Lee. You interviewing one of the next big director movie makers out here. We got uh, now. I know this. You know I'm talking about. <laughs> I didn't waste my we time. We believe in that. No, we really believe in that. And so, Van Diesel was another one of my inspirations too. A lot Hollywood wasn't really. They weren't wrestling, messing with him, so he made Fast and Furious, and he, he out of here. Right. Yeah. So just watching people just be great. How long you just don't watch people be great for? You jump in the seat like, right, let's go. Yeah, right. you got to be great. But some people you want to be great like instantly. You got to yeah. put that work in. Fast facts. Yeah. Yeah. Fast facts. And when they see us on Tubi, they say it's a Tubi movie until they watch it. Yeah. And they be like, oh, that one's supposed to be. That was supposed I love to be Tubi like Tubi movies though. I feel like it's a whole different genre. It is. Yeah. Of movie. yeah. It's, it reminds me of like the black exploitation film. Film era, where like, it, was like it wasn't even necessarily like the theme of the movies. It was just that they were created, like we would call it independent film these right. days. But right. you know, back in those days, that was just the, the genre that they put it in. And I just think it's dope to see, you know, people, people make these movies right. happen mm -hmm. with little to no budgets on right. some of them. So right. it's like, right. how could you clown that? If they did this shit with nothing, this is just to show you with the right opportunities mm -hmm. that this shit is possible and we can tell all our stories, Correct. you know what I mean? From the Tyler Perry's to the hood niggas selling dope everywhere. He got a story he wanted to yeah, tell too, lot. so. Big facts. And we need to hear all of them, because we behind on our, you know, on our movie making shit too. We've we been watching too long. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's, time now, to get it's time for us to be innovators and make it happen, and I love it. Right, right. So how long you been over here executive producing and co-producing and making this stuff happen over here on the movie world? Honestly, it's my 10th year in media. Yeah. Um, it's my third project, my third full feature. Um, I've been in Atlanta maybe five years now. Yeah. yeah. What, what would y'all say to the independent creators who, who may be nulling over the idea, going back and forth, just get us take that next step to make it happen? Get it done. Correct. Get it Not done. Just, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you have an idea, I always say write it down. Yeah. yeah. You know, write it down, create your vision, and then, you know, just pursue it. Just go after it. And then don't worry about where the money's going to come from. Don't worry about who's going to be involved. You just make sure you get your vision out. Yeah. And trust me, and have, I always believe in faith. 
and have that faith, you step out and people are going to come to you because they, they're going to see your vision. Right. So. Was this the first project y'all all worked on together? It is. I'm going to say all of us. All of us together. We're all working on a separate project. Yeah. yeah. We've been act I've been acting for about 10 years. How long you been acting for? I've been acting probably 20 years. I started acting in, in Memphis, so. Okay. Theater, so I've been doing it for a long Memphis, time. Man. Yeah. Memphis, man. Memphis, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta love that. I've been acting for, since I came out the womb. You know, right. every day is acting. You, just you know, it's just acting. a matter of whether you have that lights, camera, action behind it, but we gotta act every day in life and decide how we're gonna play that role with right. whomever we encounter, you know? So right. I've been acting that long, so. So where can they go and check out more info about the movie? I got a Facebook page, Instagram page. Yeah, we on LinkedIn. LinkedIn. We on LinkedIn, that's all. Meet the Snows, Meet the snows everything. everything. You can Google I it. everything, mm -hmm. Meet the Snows. Yeah. Our Gmail is meetthesnows at gmail.com. So after y'all check it out on Tubi, let us know what you think. What is this movie about? Is what you want to get to tell us. Because so really that's what it's about. Yeah. That's what really drew me to it. And I'll let you talk about it first. Like, what the movie's about? Yeah. Yeah, talk about it. It's an action, action movie where my daughter, she gets kidnapped in a sex trafficking ring. Similar to Taken. Mm -hmm. But we got some we got some real things in there that's yeah. a little bit better, in my opinion. A little more graphics With a Negro stuff. spin. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. The instrumentals are crazy. J-O-N, we got to get you on the next one. We do it at least. Yeah, we hijacking the mm -hmm. movie. Yeah. We are in there. Everybody in there, we, we getting in. Let's go. We taking over the movie industry. And we starting with Tubi. Hello. Part right. two coming soon. Really? It's yeah. already in the work? It's in the work. Well, you start over. I need another bad <laughs> guy, so let's go. Write him in. Just a little improv, man. Just a little improv. I'm trying to be the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody want to be the bad guy. Yes, I want to be the worst one. I got a bogus <laughs> accent and everything. All right, here go my scene. All right. <laughs> you the cat, man. You the fat cat, man. <laughs> Do you think? Your boyfriend is going to save you now. Shit, okay. Yeah, you fucking with it. I've been working on this shit. Oh, shit. We're about to have a fire this morning. Look at these incense right now. I've been working on my shit. Yeah, that's, I told you, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't That's how hard it was. Yeah. <laughs> I almost burnt the whole shit there. <laughs> but man, I appreciate y'all stopping uh, through the I'm black market. I'm not in my show like I'm not in the, your show. I'm just giving you credit. I want to ask you some 85% questions. <laughs> ask me, because I'm on 85%. But I still got to make sure I say I appreciate it. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know, you but I still got to make sure I say I appreciate y'all stopping through here and doing your promo with us, because that's exactly what this platform was created for, things just like this. And I manifested you, honestly. Word. Yeah. When we finished working on the project, you don't, you wasn't my friend at the time, but I tagged 85, I said, tag the 85 percent, 85 South Show. I want to be on this show. And the, the manifestation just uh, happening. New Face just came around. Right. Everything just started happening, man. And here we are. So, See, it ain't about who you know, it's about who know you. Yeah, man. Right. I'm really, now what's I'm really the happy to be here. I'm ready. I got a few on. <laughs> I got okay. a few on. Okay. Cause you always rapping on your show. All right. When you dropping the mixtape? Um, <laughs> what's today? <laughs> what is this? Is this April? Oh yeah, April the 10th. 20th. I'm coming in the middle of the summer. Real shit. Yeah, real shit. Middle of the summer. So you always rapping. It ain't no. I'm, I'm through playing. And then be flying too. I'm like, when are you gonna just drop? Middle of the summer. Okay. I'm coming with the anthem for the summer. Okay. All right. Tell That's me. one question. Yeah. The cockroach thing. Are y'all gonna make that a real cartoon? It is. Like a real series? Yeah, Roach Motel. Man, I love that, man. He, he, he wanna be on it, he wanna be on it. Man. <laughs> we got all the episodes, we move all the episodes to the app. Really? Yeah, so we working on the next season of Roach Motel also. See, I'm glad you brought it up, because yeah. they didn't even know. We was just going to drop a gang of episodes oh, of it. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's one of the, you know, like, that's what I'm saying with the media shit. We mm -hmm. want to have a cartoon, a radio show, TV show. So it's like, that's definitely the first move with the animation. And we looking to link up with some more creators and get some more cartoons. And take, and we want to bring back Saturday morning cartoons. 
But then we gonna have like some Friday night cartoons for like yeah. grown folk coming from the club. Had this like shit Rick and Morty <laughs> come on at three, four o'clock in the morning. So yeah, man, that type of shit. How many cars do you actually really own? I mean, once you get to a certain number, you just He's stop counting. <laughs> right, I got them old school. I got every car that a black man would, would want to have from the hood. I think I get, and probably two of them at this point. So you trying to give away the, um, the Impala yet? Yeah, the Impala been gone. Now we're giving away a 72, no, a 70 Chevelle. Heard that. that mother good cold too. Cold? Oh mm. man. hell yeah. <laughs> the car game crazy right now. So yeah, we got plenty of shit. Yeah, they're money. They the give away cars. When they give away old school, I'm from the south. We, we yeah. love our old school. No, oh, y'all get money. <laughs> well, I mean, it's for the fans. It's for the fans. To give the people a chance, you know, to to win a big money car without having to spend big money. So you know, everything goes full circle. Keep the culture going. Y'all got any questions? I'm just being. I would like to say happy birthday, happy Thank belated. You. You're welcome. When was the birthday? This bitch. April second. Nice. Happy belated, my guy. Nice. CJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my birthday just passed. Happy belated, my guy. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Girl. Getting older in the world. OG. Little something, you, you know, saying. little, little season. That's it. Why you being cute, like? Because I am cute. Don't start. You know, you've been really questioning. Well, <laughs> I, I am Get on the cute. show. This your Here only we shot. Huh? We, well, we'll be back, bro. No, she can come back by yourself. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I want to jump them all together once, and then I get the individuals in there. So if you want to come through, I already know you the villain now at this point. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. So I want to make sure I tell everybody to go check out Meet the Snows so we can talk about it in the comments, you know, just to see where we at with it. Yeah, yeah we can discuss this as a family. Right. Can y'all, one, one request, can y'all play our trailer? Trailer, one hour. Can y'all show it? Can you send it to me? Yeah. If you send it to me, I will literally drop the trailer right where you said it. Oh, man. <laughs> you heard this, Javier? That's what I'm you want me to put it in the front of the show and the back? <laughs> yeah. I like yeah. that. I like that. Yeah. Make it a commercial yes. too. Let me see. Yeah. Thank you. I'm just, I'm yeah. <laughs> However you want this, this ain't got yeah, shit to do with me. This, like this is to promote you. Man. Like, and throw some soundtrack music, music in there too. I mean, throw some soundtrack. Just might as well plug it all the way through. Just oh, some soundtrack music. We're on the soundtrack. We, we got two we got artists great sitting team. up here today that's on the soundtrack. Where? Come on. Come on. Come on. One dude. We rappers too. Yes. Yes. Go ahead, one dude. You more rapper than me. I'm more than let them know about your songs on the soundtrack. Of, so, got a track on the, uh, courtesy of Ron, uh, throwing it on there, called, uh, We Out Here Doing Shit, We Ain't Got No Business Doing. It's hot, too. So, it's uh, hot. We it's Out Here hot. Doing Shit, We Ain't Got No Business Doing. Yes, yes. sir. Come on. <laughs> 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 Nigga, I ain't never related more to some shit <laughs> that I ain't heard yet and didn't know. <laughs> but yeah, man, like I said, this is the episode to promote y'all shit, so. We'll put the trailer in there. We'll make sure we get the uh, link to the soundtrack, the promo, the trailer, mm -hmm. the the GIF, the meme, <laughs> whatever y'all right. got associated with this because we want to see y'all be successful, man. Thank you. Shit, that's exactly what this platform is for. And I would like to add, if possible, can we mention something about what the movie is representing, yes. sex trafficking? Like, it's entertaining in itself, and we all are aware of that, but the main purpose, the main, the main message of the movie is about sex traffic awareness. And right. so if we can drop something about, you know, what are some of the signs and how to avoid it and stuff like that, that'll be great, mm -hmm. because that's where we're headed. We're trying, to, um, we're trying to team up with sex trafficking organizations so that we can bring more awareness to these to the youth because our youth are being yeah, picked up quickly. That's what I was about to say. And you be careful with them organizations. They doing all the damn sex trafficking. Well, true. <laughs> that There are some, but... Well, we have we, two organizations that we're partnering with right now, Youth Spring and Well Living. Mm -hmm. So they've been very beneficial. Uh, we do have resources available, so if we have anyone listening that may have been a victim to sex trafficking, please don't hesitate to reach out to us and we will provide resources. Mm -hmm. Let's put an end to this shit. Correct. Yes. Correct. Shit is sick. 
They out here stealing people. More than that. Yeah. You know, like. Fucking them too. No. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, that too. And but stealing the organs. No, it's it's super yeah, real. their so organs. So when you out in public and you see something that don't look right, yeah. intervene. I'm telling you, man, it's always, it's always something. For sure. I'm sure everybody has had those moments where you are y'all okay moments. Some, right. You think some shit ain't mm-hmm. right in your yeah. ass. Yeah, it's all fun and games. Yeah. It's all fun and games till you become a victim or you close to exactly. one. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you never yeah. talk. I'm close to a victim. I, yeah. we, my family are survivors. In the late 80s, my cousin Emma Staten was sex trafficked from Palaka, Florida. Mm. Last time we seen her, she was on her way to a nightclub, and she got in the car with the dude she met there and never came back home. Mm. We, we put out reports. We did um, police reports, national reports. We haven't found any information on her. So sex trafficking is real. Do not get in the car with people you don't know. If you come with a friend, leave with that friend. Exactly. And don't drink things that's been set down that unattended to. <laughs> Just saying. Keep your eye on your drinks. Gotta watch, yes. watch, watch, watch your drinks. Watch your drinks. Yeah. Watch your drinks. Like, Especially with traveling. Some of the tips? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I guess just for the sake of the youth and, shoot, grown-ups, some of the tips of sex trafficking would be more like, like I would like to say, like for example, p- kids. Right now, a lot of them are on spring break. Mm-hmm. They, the sex traffickers are out. Right. They are around looking and waiting to collect. Yes. You know, so these kids need to be aware. They at the malls, they're at the movie theaters. These are places where parents drop their kids off and, right. and dip and, you know, hey, you spend the day up here. But the next thing you know, you have some handsome guy or and sometimes they're using the youth, them, you know, the youth yeah. or a woman to lure them in. Right. So it's like you really, really have to be careful. And they're they're out seeking people who are, have low self-esteem, right. you know, those who feel left out or feel or they want a fast life and they'll sell them this dream. Right. You know, I'm sure many heard about the Jeff Epstein whole case. and That's what I was just about to say. Like, ain't it crazy how, like, nobody's sitting here having this discussion is excluded from this shit now? I'm telling you. Like, anybody could be, you know what I mean? Inducted yeah. yeah. Like, men, women, children, mm-hmm. boys, girls, uh-huh. men. You know what I mean? It's like, mm-hmm. any nobody's age. excluded. No. Any age, mm-hmm. any... That shit is crazy, man. Yeah. So. And so there, and there's there some of them. And as far as black people, they want our organs. Yeah. So you can come up missing. They still in eyes, hearts, and you saw Get Out. You know, that's a perfect kind of a perfect example of it. You yeah. know. That's the scariest movie I've ever seen. <laughs> 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 Once you but, think about the concept of yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> right. But it's real. It's uh, real. Football players just married the white woman. <laughs> well, we ain't gonna talk about that. Stop it. <laughs> well, some get out he started shit. some stuff. He started. He's Damn, bro, t- I'm telling you, man. Well, look here. Y'all see where we at? Y'all know where we at? This y'all first time stopping through here for some promo, but don't let it be the last. Yeah, okay. The next time y'all come back, we need to be talking about part two. I got a fight snow. movie I need you in. A fight? Yeah, Are we shooting there in September. Do I need to get back to fighting weight or? <laughs> <laughs> I got a scene where you got to, you might what have that to look like? You okay with running? Jumping the fence? From who? <laughs> from a fighter? Oh, I ain't no bitch. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, you ain't playing that role. I ain't gonna play that role. I ain't gonna play that role. I ain't gonna play that role. You have to, you have to. 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 No, I knew it was Z. You should have been wrong. I'm going to put you in the move. We're going to beat your ass. <laughs> but that, but you're going to be a hey, bitch. You're going to run. <laughs> That's how he is. He want to kill all his friends yeah. in the movie. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 It's a fight yeah. movie. Why You got to fight. Somebody got to do it. Ladies, I saved y'all. Run on the chest. 
Yeah. Oh, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just told you I was the villain. What movie? The villain don't lose no fucking fight. Not in the first movie. Okay. Not the first movie. Later on down the line, nigga. What about the we'll trilogy? Let's talk about it. We'll talk about it. <laughs> they made 10 Fast and Furious. Correct. You can't kill me in the first one. Right. Shit. I'm already on the He just want to punch you in the face. He gonna beat you up and then y'all become friends Ooh. later on. Yeah. 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 You know, like Rocky. Yeah. 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 I think it just looked better on screen with me whooping your ass. Yeah. <laughs> just for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. You big ass. <laughs> for all the 85. We got all the 85. We got to burn the studio down. All the 85. We getting fucked. Oh, shit. Well, look here, man. Thank you for having me. I appreciate y'all yeah, stopping yeah. through here, but please do not burn down the studio. We no, have to not. keep this thing going so we can keep this black market open and keep making yeah. this yeah. black money with black people. <laughs> All the way stand up. We made it. Straight Hell like yeah. that. One time for Daytona Beach. Everybody yeah. pull I'm a BCR, Memphis. baby. Everybody pull ATL up. right here. We're gonna Have you heard about the party tonight? I saw it on his Instagram. How about I take you to your favorite restaurant? It's not a regular night. We had this all fright. We'll be next in line to be a member of their family business. Get that, babe. It must be Ye. Ye didn't come back to the dorm last night. Something isn't right. Give me Ye's last location before a phone died. As you wish, Mr. Snow. I need all the details of last night. Turns out a lot of people have come up missing and their last location has been at that club. The clients are in place for tonight's viewing. We got a problem. What the fuck is she? Boom! I'll die for mine if that's what it takes. What the fuck I just say, man? I'm not talking to the ops. This little girl. My little 